In this video, we are going to talk about everything you need to know about Primitivo. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. When you become sick of drinking the same old Pinot Noirs or Cabernet Sauvignons, switch things up by drinking a fruity Primitivo from the heel of Italy. Primitivo is the Italian term for Zinfandel. In the past, it was used as an obscure blending grape in cheap wines. These days, however, it is being produced into varietal wines that are unique, of great quality, and created only from the Primitivo grape. What is Primitivo? Primitivo is a kind of red wine grape that is also known as Zinfandel. Zinfandel is another name for Primitivo. It is the third most often planted grape variety in the region of Puglia, which is located in southern Italy. Primitivo grapes produce wines that are robust, fruity, and earthy. These wines have a high alcohol content, chewy tannins, and a finish that is somewhat sweet. What is the history of Primitivo? Primitivo was imported to southern Italy from Croatia, where it had its beginnings, perhaps in the 1700s. Croatia is located across the Adriatic Sea from southern Italy. An Italian monk termed the grape Primitivo from the Latin early ripening because he saw that it matured before other grapes in his vineyard. Prior to this, the grape was known as Kuljanak Katalansky or Tribadreg in Croatia. Primitivo was primarily used as a blending grape in Italy throughout the 19th and 20th century. It was used to increase alcohol content and add body to other types of red wine. In the 1990s, the European government offered financial incentives to a large number of grape growers in Italy, particularly in the south, to pull up their vines as a way to reduce the quantity of low-quality wine that was produced in the EU. This was done as a way to decrease the volume of wine produced in the EU overall. Growers were relieved to get rid of their Primitivo bush vines, which were cumbersome to harvest and failed to provide a significant amount of revenue. In the late 1990s, DNA testing conducted at UC Davis in California demonstrated that the Italian Primitivo grape and the California Zinfandel grape are genetically indistinguishable from one another. As of the year 1999, Italian winemakers were legally permitted to name their Primitivo wines as Zinfandels, which enabled these wines to achieve greater success as varietal wines in the international marketplace. Since reaching a low point in the 1990s, the number of plantings of Primitivo grapes has grown by around half. Region The most important location in Italy for the cultivation of grapes is Apulia, which is located on the southernmost tip of the Italian peninsula. Around the city of Manduria, which is at the heart of the Primitivo di Manduria DOC certification program, you'll find a landscape dominated by vineyards. Another area with tremendous potential for expansion is the DOC of Gioia del Col. The indigenous Croatian grape variety known as Primitivo clone Kroljanak Katalansky is both the most well-known and highly regarded. These grapes were carried into the Mediterranean region from the Western Caucasus by way of viticulture, which dates back thousands of years. Zinfandel is the name under which the grape was introduced to American vineyards. The Central Valley in California is where you're most likely to find it. It has an interesting history that includes being imported in the 19th century and then being lost during Prohibition when many vines were torn up in order to grow grapes that were better suited to the still legal home winemaking trade. This occurred in order to satisfy the demand for grapes to be used in the production of wine at home. After the ban, the only valuable ancient vines that were left were those that produced high-quality grapes. What are the characteristics of Primitivo? Primitivo grapes are grown in Italy and are used to produce full-bodied, somewhat tannic red wines. These wines are supposed to be consumed within three to four years after the harvest date. Dolce Naturale is the name given to some sweet dessert wines. There are also other sweet dessert wines. Primitivo is often combined with grapes from other southern Italian types, but since since the link between Primitivo and Zinfandel was identified, varietal wines have gained increasing popularity. Grapes harvested from older vines have the potential to produce wines of a higher grade. Primitivo wines are distinguished by the following primary qualities. Dominated by the flavors of fruit, with hints of cherry, strawberry, blackberry, and raisin, authentically earthy and rural, heavy in alcohol content, sometimes sweet. Where kinds of wines are made with Primitivo grapes? 
Primitivo is produced in the area of Apulia, which is located in the toe of Italy's boot. The climate there is hot and dry. The primary focus is on. Number 1. Primitivo di Manduria. Since ancient times, the Apulian community of Manduria has been known for the cultivation of Primitivo of very high quality. This DOC is known for producing wines with a robust body that are made entirely from Primitivo and have a hint of sweetness. Because the temperature in this area is very warm and conducive to the maturing of grapes, the wines produced here often contain alcohol contents of at least 14%. The sweet red wines of Manduria known as DOCG Dolce Natural are characterized by their use of Primitivo grapes that have been sun-dried before being fermented into wine. Number 2. Joya del Col. This DOC is located close to the city of Bari, and it is home to the vineyard that was home to the very first Primitivo plantings imported from Croatia. Elegant Primitivo wines are produced in Joya del Col thanks to the region's greater altitude and limestone-based soils. These wines have more acidity and less alcohol than their Mandurian counterparts. Within this little appellation, there are just 15 producers, which means that there is a restricted supply of these wines. Number 3. Primitivo del Salento. This IGT is located on the peninsula of the same name and encompasses a larger geographical region than the Dioces. You may find wines that are focused on the fruit and provide a good value here. What's the difference between Primitivo and Zinfandel? The grape that is used to make Primitivo is exclusively cultivated in Italy, but the same grape, known there as Zinfandel, has established a strong reputation in the New World. Zinfandel, which is cultivated largely in the areas of Lodi, the Napa Valley, and the Dry Creek Valley of Sonoma County in California, as well as in certain sections of the state of New York, is often a wine with a lighter body than the thick Primitivo. Primitivo is often created in a style that is more earthy and tannic, although both may have a hint of sweetness from ripe fruit if that fruit is used. How do you pair Primitivo wine? Because of its luscious fruit and robust body, Primitivo is an excellent complement to recipes that are heavy in meat. Experiment with it with braised lamb or goat, grilled steak with balsamic sauce, blood sausage, and eggplant parmesan. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.